Welcome back Tubers, in our last video we came up with a plan to build a battery box to sit outside to store our power wall in and our batteries. What I did was I picked up about 30 or 40 metres of 2x2 two two treated wood and we framed it all up quite nicely as there. We did all the, the feet parts and then what we did was we framed up the door section, the roof section and the bottom support section that holds obviously all the weight of the batteries and everything that we put in there. Um, for the sides, as you can see the back there and all the sides, um, what we used was we used treated plywood. It's marine ply in New Zealand, so it's good for outside or outdoor use. And that's going to be um, nice and sturdy and also as light as possible because it weighs a ton once you have a few sheets of plywood there. This is kind of how it looks outside now pre before the painting starts. And as you can see, it's not looking too bad. I tried to, to fix up all the little screw holes, but it's, it's come up pretty well. And as you can see there, we put a, a coat of white paint on it. And this is kind of how it looks with the door open. I left it unpainted inside. So a few weeks on, now this is how the box is looking and where it currently is. It's not obviously up against the house just yet. We just need to do some kind of foundation work around that grass. Um, and we just need to, to figure out how we're going to place it so it doesn't move around. Um, but what I'll do is I'll quickly show you around the box. Uh, I've done, this is the third coat on the on the front of it, so it's looking really good now. Uh, under direct sunlight, it's uh, a little bit glary because it's so bright uh, and reflective. But this kind of gives you a good idea about the size and how it looks. Uh, obviously, if I come around here, you'll see we did that indent because that needs to go around this pipework here. So it kind of comes out a little bit to make room for that pipework. And this is really the reason why we did it custom um, build on this is so that it fits in this area nicely and, um, and it's kind of tucked in there without kind of sticking out too much. Yes it's going to be a bit of an eyesore, uh, we're trying to make it as less of an eyesore as possible. With the roof amount, or with the amount of roof on the top of that I'm thinking that maybe I can put a 300 watt panel on there um, but that might look a bit silly. But either way this is kind of how it's looking. Um, I haven't painted the inside, I actually quite like the bare wood look and um, so I'll just leave that how it is. If I come into the, the box here you'll see that this is how much room I'm going to have on the left hand side. This is actually where I'm going to store the the current set of 18650s. So if I try and get the camera in a slightly better position in the corner there you'll see the um, what I'll do is I'll put the rack in this area here and what I'll do is on the this side here at the bottom there I'll have the incoming cables coming out through this this part here and that'll um, give me a nice, a nice bit of room so they'll come out through this it means that on the other side if I flick around to here what will end up happening is that the, the pipe will come through here I'll use a say an 80 mil pipe so it's nice and big and easy to move cables through it'll come through here and then up and around and then go inside this part here so it will probably be up here somewhere and that way it'll kind of come up 90 degree bend or um, somewhere around like that and then come in and then come down so that's the idea but it means that that way if I come in on this side it actually if I go back inside the box again it'll come out here and coming out of there will mean that I can easily go up the wall and put put things up on the wall uh, and it makes it easier to run cabling rather than coming straight out the back because that way if I come straight out the back it makes it slightly more complicated if I have to reroute cables it's just impossible to get back there once it's against the house so yeah that's how that's looking so what it will do is it will mean that I'll have the batteries on the, the left hand side here with, um, only sticking out to about there and that'll mean that later on I did this box big enough to be able to expand it um, dramatically so obviously I can fit a massive amount of batteries in here because later down the track you know who knows I might not be having I might have 18650s here but I might have another set of uh, of other types of batteries so I wanted to create something because I'm going to build something um, I really wanted to create it so it kind of future proofs um, future expansion over the next five or ten years when I you know move on to different types of batteries or or just have a massive amount of 18650s so yeah this room will uh, well this box will be able to um, cope with quite a lot what I'll do is at the top there I'll have a fan that extracts out 
um, in this kind of in, indented area here. I'll put a fan at the top. And the other plan is to put um, vents along the top here, so it kind of self um, it's, it self cools itself with the, the vents along the top, and I'll put some vents along the bottom. Uh, and that way, hopefully, the fan won't need to be on much at all. And then um, only when it gets really warm, I'll have a thermostat and just have the fan go on. But the room, as you can see, is is fully um, sealed. I don't really want any bugs or bits and pieces in here, so I sealed up as much as I can. In fact, there's just no way that anything can come in here now apart from the door. But I'm working on um, ways to improve that. But next thing we need to do is put a lock on the door. Got a stainless steel lock to go on that. And I need to finish off a little bit more painting. But other than that, it's pretty much getting there. We're going to do some roof. Um, we haven't decided what we're going to put on the very top of that just yet. Um, but we've got some plans and some thoughts on what we could use because we really want it to not stick out Like an, we really will kind of want it to blend into the house um, We don't really it because this is our technically our front door uh, What's well right next to the front door. We don't want to have a massive amount of uh, You know a big eyesore there, so we're trying to make it so that it's not an eyesore But obviously the location is that window is directly in the center of the camera now uh, Where you can actually possibly see the ironing board sticking out that's the laundry and that's where the inverter is so it's pretty much only a one and a half meter or it's about 1800 to two meters uh, of cable to get to the the bottom of the battery box uh, so yeah that, that works really well i didn't want to have it too far from the inverter obviously um, voltage drop and things like that so yeah it's a bit of a work in progress but that's really how that's looking um, the other thing i've got to do which i'm painting right now is all the edging to go along here and, um, this edge is we, we actually made of a bit of a stuff up this was meant to go a bit longer but um, very much like this other side here you'll see that that's finished in a lot nicer but either way we've got a, a, a piece of uh, metal to go along there on both sides and this is the um, the edging that I'm using we've also made up the vents and other bits and pieces out of the same stuff and I've just done the second coat of um, primer uh, well anti-rust primer on it and then I'll do top coats once it's on the actual box itself but as you see that's all the, the edging for the corners and then we've got um, the vent which is over there to go out with the fan hole so it's a 120 mm hole um, and I'll put a 120 mm high flow fan on that and these other ones are just smaller vents that we made up to, to go along the bottom and the, and the back um, at the top and along the bottom at the back so yeah that's um, slowly coming along so you have to excuse the wind, this is how the box is now looking now, I've got all the metal sides on, all the corners, so I've got them there and as well as obviously on this other side as well. So that's making it look a lot nicer. The next thing I've done is I've cut a hole at the top here for a fan to go in. So this is the fan I've got to use here. So it's a 120mm high powered fan, uh, 12 volts, 0.6 amps. So that's going to go pretty much up here. I've just finished kind of cutting that hole up. And I, I would like it to go slightly higher because obviously the top of the box is there and the, and the fan is here. However, there is a gap up here that um, it will suck a bit of air through. So that should be fine there. And then I'll put a grill over this side so that the fan will blow out. And I'll put a, a small grill on the front of it here, which will um, mean that it's easy to, uh, nice and easy to clean. Um, and if I just bring you around to the other side As you'll see That's it up there. So The reason I couldn't go in there, that's the best place for it I couldn't go any higher because obviously the other the wood on the inside, but also um, I've got to be careful of where it's actually going to end up So with a whole bunch of offcuts we made this one up. So this is going to be the cover for the fan so that's going to go up there something like this and I'll try and make it level and then obviously under there is where the fan will go well it's actually going to be on the inside of it so yeah that's how that's going to look and then the next part really is to put holes at the bottom and then put vents along the bottom and again at the top but this is going to be almost hard up against the, the wall there so the vents need to be quite slim but yeah, so that's kind of how that's looking and that's what I'm up to today. Okay, so this is how the back of it is looking now that I've got the two vents down the bottom there mounted up. So what I need to do next is actually put them, I'll put a couple at the top 
and obviously on the side there so that's that main big vent I've got with the fan inside it and what I'll do is I'll just take the camera out and around so I've got another vent on this side at the bottom but I need to stick one at the top on this side um, mainly because right now I don't have anything that's at the top apart from that top fan so the top fan's mounted up there I'm just going to do some sealant around the edges of it and then I'll put a, 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 a cover on the top and as you see at the bottom there that's got that's the bottom vents but it's also got, they've all got um, a mesh on them and again on this side here so yeah next thing is actually to stick one at the very top and again at the top on this side and what I'll do before I do all that however is I will do an undercoat oh, so I do the um, the first coat on all the edges as well as um, the vents that I've currently done which is what I've kind of just started doing now so this is how it's looking and I'm actually quite impressed so this is obviously just the outside I'll show you today um, on the next video I'll show you the inside and the and the other bits and pieces but for now this is um, this is how it's looking pretty much the finished um, look of the outside we use some roofing material on top that I got given um, and that's made it come up really good. It's a nice blue color. Um, it actually matches the deck a little bit. Uh, the deck actually wasn't meant to be blue, but uh, the paint actually just turned out like that. So, but anyway, um, the, the top of the roof here looks really good. Um, and there's that vent on the side at the top there. And really, um, I'm really quite impressed with how it looks. It doesn't look too bad um, next to the house there. And uh, we've made it a little bit higher in the back here. Um, mainly because that's going to um, slowly um, go down once the batteries are in and all the weights in the box so uh, we had to pack it up a little bit just make it a bit higher because it had a bit of a wobble but I think we've sorted that out now and when that back end drops down a little bit the um, the front end will be level so that's just we'll just have to wait and see once we get some batteries in there and it's just the weight of the batteries are all in that spot so I'll show you that in the next video so that's a bit of a conclusion for the um, the box build video so um, thanks again for watching guys see you on the next video and subscribe and like if you haven't done so already thanks guys see you soon